have three amazing candidates with us here tonight. Uh, at least I'm pretty sure it's only three. Rob, JD, no announcements, right? Okay, um, so to keep you up on current events and how to keep track of who's coming through and get you an opportunity to see these wonderful candidates, you should go out to Facebook and join the Story County Democrats Facebook page or anytime you are interested, go to storydems.org and we have a calendar that will keep you up to date with who's coming, when they're going to be here, and how you can see some of these wonderful candidates. So uh, there are three big reasons for us to be here tonight. The first one is to raise money. So hopefully you guys all checked in and uh, helped us out. And uh, the second is to listen to some incredible candidates tonight talk about their vision for our state and our country. And then the third is to say thank you to all the amazing people that make up the Story County Democrats. So uh, next I want to quickly thank all of our state and local candidates, many of them are here tonight who ran in 2018. Being a candidate is not an easy thing, so I want to thank all of those candidates who are here with us. And uh, because I would get in a lot of trouble if I did not do this, I want to thank the candidates' family members. I would especially like to thank the uh, spouses and significant others. Uh, we put them through a lot, so thank you to all the candidate family members for the support you put in. And uh, now I really want to thank every one of you who makes up the Story County Democrats. Everyone who voted, who canvassed, who donated money, who phone banked, and who volunteered their time to give us some amazing results here in Story County in 2018. We didn't have every election go how we wanted, but we did some great things here. At the state level, Story County delivered double-digit margins for every Democrat on the ballot. including a 12% victory for uh, Rob Sand, our new state auditor. And uh, a 32% margin for Story, County own, Story County's own state treasurer, Mike Fitzgerald. So, we were also able to send Herman Kornbach, Beth, Beth Wessel Crochelle, and Lisa Heddens back to the state house. county level, we saw some amazing results in the supervisor race, where a, uh, our own Linda Merkin defeated two, two incumbent Republicans by over 4,000 votes, and we were just about 700 votes from first-time candidate Josh Opperman making a clean sweep. So thank you. Thank you to everybody who helped did that. And uh, finally, thank you to everybody who helped to make me the first Democrat to be Story County Treasurer. Yeah. And then uh, our last result, that we fell just a tiny bit short of ending the national embarrassment of Steve King. But here in Story County, J.D. Shulton received twice as many votes as Steve King, yeah. and won with a 32% margin. And then two final things that were really incredible this year. One, the turnout of our Iowa State student voters. Thank you to the ISU College Democrats who did an amazing job. And this is because I'm from the east side of the county. I did some math, and I'm pretty sure that every local candidate won Nevada this year. So great job to the, to the Nevada folks for working hard there too. And uh, the final thank you is to the Story County Democrats in general. Um, tonight is our biggest fundraiser, and the money that gets donated to the Story County Democrats makes massive impacts on our local elections and candidates. Your donations help to pay for an incredible campaign headquarters that was invaluable to everyone and was really an amazing launching point for a lot of the campaigns. 
They were also able to donate over $21,000 directly to our local candidate campaigns and spend another $10,000 in advertising and mailings. So thank you to everyone who donated to the Story County, Camp Story County Democrats. And then the second is I want to make one more quick pitch and reminder for our off-year caucus, which is in two weeks at the Ames High School at 9 o'clock. And uh, an important thing is going to happen that day. We are going to elect new Central Committee officers because we have four officers that are all going to retire this year. And uh, I would like it if you guys could all join me in thanking them for their service. Uh, I'm going to announce them. Let's wait until the end and give one great big round of applause. Um, we have our vice chair, John Kloss, who has served for seven years. John was over here, if he could stand. We have our uh, secretary, Tom Beal, who he's pretty sure he's served for 16 years. And, uh, I'm not sure if he's made it yet, but our treasurer, Tom Corrieri, who I think has also served for 16 years. And then uh, we have somebody who is uh, pretty incomparable, our county chair for the last 22 years, Miss Jan Bauer, all the way in the back. Thank you, Jan. Thank you everyone for uh, coming. I have one last announcement. Uh, a lot of our speakers tonight, if you listen to them, started their political careers with local, municipal elections and started there. If you have any interest or know anyone with interest who would want to run for city councils or school boards or anything, please contact our elections chair, Louis Rosser. We're always looking for new candidates and people who want to help change things for the better. Everyone have a safe drive home. Thanks for coming.